Hello guys, welcome to Wing vlog number three. Unfortunately, it's like raining, kind of. It's not pouring, it's just raining outside. But today is New Year's Eve, and today we're actually going to get our keys for the new place. I'm so excited. So we're gonna go, Alvin's about to pick me up. We're gonna go grab the keys, head back to his place, start on, like taking apart his furniture. And then at 12 o'clock, we have an appointment to pick up our U-Haul truck. So I don't know how much, honestly, because it's raining, I don't know how much footage I'm gonna be able to get of like the U-Haul itself and the packing in the U-Haul, but we'll see. Um, at the very least, tomorrow morning, we're definitely gonna be doing a empty apartment tour. And uh, I think I mentioned in the last moving vlog, if you missed it, I'll put it up in the cards, that originally we were told we could only move in New Year's Day tomorrow after 12 o'clock, but we were just told we can move in at 9 a.m., which is awesome. So I really wanna go in early, do our like our check off, because we have to do an inspection of the apartment first, do that quick walkthrough, and then before we start moving things in, I'll do an empty apartment tour. So, <sighs> Ex excitement excite so uh yeah so that's the plan for today and i'll just see how much i can actually get like footage of just because it's like miserable outside let me show you i can't even like look through the window because it's just it's messy it's gray it's depressing but not too much because we're getting our apartment keys all right <laughs> let's go All right, so we're like halfway done packing up Alvin's stuff here. Um, we've got this closed, but once we take Rex for a walk, I'll come back and open it up and show you guys how we've packed it so far. We've got all of his furniture already packed, which is fantastic. All we have left are some boxes, um, a bunch of clothes, and the mattress, and then we'll be done here. And this is still New Year's Day. What time is it? It is, it's around 3.30, so we're actually making decent time here. Um, so once we finish this up, we're gonna probably take some Advil and relax for a little bit, if I'm being completely honest. And then tomorrow, I think we're, I thought we would like get ahead of schedule and pack some of my stuff up tonight, but I think we should not rush ourselves, you know, and not like hurt ourselves. So we're gonna to wait and just do my stuff tomorrow. Don't fall. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're in the apartment. I'm going to do a quick empty apartment tour before we start moving everything in. Ah, okay. So it, we're on the second floor, so you come up these stairs and you come up and the first room we're gonna have over here is the kitchen. And I have to say, I love, love this kitchen. So when, as soon as you walk in, Alvin's in there, but we have a washer dryer, which is a steal for a nice apartment like this. And then we have this big empty space where we're gonna put our dining table and possibly some other storage. And then our kitchen. Oh, look at these cabinets. I love this one has like a glass side so we can like display things in there. We've got a dishwasher, we've got this nice stove, we've got our microwave, fridge, and lots and lots of cabinet space. I love it. And look at the cabin, like the actual countertops. They're so pretty. <laughs> so that is the kitchen. And then you come out from the kitchen. So you come out into this big living space. And first we have a closet over here, which is probably going to be like coats and like other storage that's not going to be in our closet because we have a huge closet so here's the big living space i'm thinking i'm gonna put my vanity and youtube stuff here and then like my office stuff over there just to keep it out of the bedroom and then whenever we actually do get a couch it'll probably come like over here but it's nice we've got lots of windows beautiful beautiful so then we turn over here and we have the bathroom, which I'm actually really excited about. Let's turn the lights on. So you come in here first, look at this, all the cabinet space coming in, got a huge mirror, hello, that opens up into a nice medicine cabinet. I love the lights up here too, nice. Then we've got, of course, the toilet and a nice big soaking tub. And then up here, we have a shower, like a rainfall shower head how cute is that and then of course we also have a detachable one down here which is just better than i honestly could have expected <laughs> up here um so we've got our storage down there 
And then that's it for the bathroom. Moving back out here, we come into the bedroom. So the bedroom is just a tiny bit smaller than the other unit we saw, but we have a ton of closet space. Look at this. That's one giant closet. So we're probably gonna pick sides, but they're sliding doors. And then we have just that one shelf. We're gonna put in more, obviously, closet space saving things in here. We might put in like a little dresser, some drawers. So those are all go there. And in here, we're really not sure how we're gonna set it up yet. I think the bed's gonna go over here. Probably put the TV over there. We'll have to see how it goes. But uh, it's just so nice. And we're, I'm happy that they already have blinds in here so we don't have to worry about that, you know, for a stay. Then you come back out here and we're back at the front. So that's everything for the empty apartment tour. We're actually about to start. We're gonna go grab our U-Haul and start moving things in. So, yeah. Okay, so it's like two o'clock. I'm sorry I haven't gotten a whole lot of footage, but it's just been a lot of heavy stuff with the U-Haul. So let me just show you a little bit. I'm currently in here while the uh, guys, my boyfriend and my brother, are picking up a lot of the big stuff. So let me just show you what I've been able to do here in the kitchen at least. So we got a couple of boxes unpacked. Ali's got the coffee maker out. I'm gonna start washing these, focus, dishes. Um, coffee maker. I'm gonna start doing some dishes, so at least we have some clean things to eat and drink out of for tonight. Um, my grandma was nice enough to give us some food, <laughs> so I got a little bit of food here. Though I wanna move all of this, cause this is like a big pantry over here, so I want this to be like the food pantry. Um, so I'm probably gonna move all of that anyway. <laughs> so that's the kitchen. We're just slowly but surely bringing in all the furniture. And we actually changed our mind, we're gonna make this the bedroom. So at least we have the mattress there, and then in here, is going to be my vanity for YouTube over here and then my work desk over here. It gonna be great. All right, so I'll see if I can get any more footage, but honestly, it's just uh, really a lot of heavy stuff for carrying upstairs in the stairs curve too. Um, but I'll show you guys as I organize the kitchen at least. you on camera oh look at the little chunky no you're the star come back oh chunky where are you going ah oh, beautiful okay guys so it is sunday i'm sorry i really couldn't get too much footage but really the last like 48 hours i've just been an exercise literally <laughs> in carrying so much stuff upstairs so we did um, some basic shopping yesterday. We actually did grocery shopping because our kitchen was of course just empty. We had like no food. We went grocery shopping. Thankfully, uh, my boyfriend's family owns a grocery store. So we were able to just kind of go to the grocery store, pick up a bunch of like basic staples. Um, so that was like 80% of what we could just get from their store for free, which is awesome. Um, the rest of it, we went to Target and Whole Foods just to pick up a couple of things. Once the kitchen's a little bit cleaner, I'll actually do a tour and show you guys all of the utensils and everything we had to buy because again, neither of us lived in an apartment before. This is our first apartment together, so we had to buy all of our kitchen stuff, like brand new, most of it brand new. So once the kitchen's actually a little bit cleaner, I'll go through and I'll do a full tour, probably in moving vlog four or five, we'll see. But the goal for today, because technically I was supposed to start working tomorrow, tomorrow is Monday, but our internet, because we're getting, our internet provider is sending us a package with like instructions on how to set everything up and whatnot. Um, we have our own router, but we have to wait for that package in order to set up our internet. Um, and I don't know if it's going to actually come in time for me to work tomorrow. So I'm probably just going to take a personal day tomorrow and start working on Tuesday. But that being said, I want to get my office set up at the very least. And then I wanna clean up just a little bit the living room. And as you can see behind me, living room slash bedroom, it's a bit messy. So let me just give you a quick idea of where we are and what my goals are for today. All right, so over here we have our gourmet dining room set until we can actually get our dining room table. Wait, let's, and there's the chunky boy. Oh, he's been doing so good. He finally, we brought him to the apartment last night and he's my little buddy now. Okay. So we've got the dining room table, all of this stuff over here. So this is a toolbox that Alvin has. I'm gonna move that. I wanna move it to where this bookshelf is. Oh, by the way, we didn't have lamps yet. My YouTube lighting has been like perfect. So we've been using these umbrella lights in here. Cause even though we have a lot of windows and it's great, it's winter. So it gets dark at like 4 PM. And like today it's raining all day. So like it's really dark in here. So these umbrella lights actually help a ton. But this bookshelf, 
I want to move into the office because it's it's an old bookshelf and it's really light so really I can only use it for like either really light books or for makeup I think I'm gonna be using it for makeup so I'm gonna move that in there these are makeup boxes so I'm gonna move those into the office as well in this corner actually we want to put Rex's bed um, and then the toolbox for Alvin so this will go over there and I want to clean just at least kind of consolidate all of this a little bit and that's the very front end of the apartment when you first walk in <laughs> we had to block off the stairs because someone likes to go downstairs and can't get back up yet yes so uh, we've got that and then if we turn this is technically the rest of the living slash dining room but we are going to make it our bedroom so we have the bed here I gotta make the bed um, but we've got these bookshelves, we got this bookshelf, and then we have two tall bookshelves over here. Our goal is going to be to put a tall bookshelf here, short tall bookshelf here, and have it separate the bedroom from the rest of the living room. So that's the goal. We just had the mattress on the floor. We're still waiting for our bed frame to come in. I think it's supposed to come in in like a week, week and a half. So we're kind of just going to be um, ishy, ishy. <laughs> it's going to be a little messy over there until we can get the actual bed frame in. And then this desk over here actually has our TV mount. So that's really going to be like our internet. We got our modem, our TV, um, and then probably Alvin's laptop. So it'll be like his little desk area too. And I'm sorry if you can hear that in the background. That's the washer dryer. So I'm doing a lot of laundry as we just got here. Um, these bags over here are Alvin's clothes. These are all clean, so I just got to put those away once we figure out how we want to store clothing. And then these are all like off-season kind of clothes, so I think I've got to give those a wash too before we actually put them away. Yep, and then here's just a zoom in on the bed. I really got to make the bed. I want to wash some of the smaller blankets, um, so I'll make that, make it look a little bit cleaner in here. That's like my favorite way to instantly like clean up a room is just to make the bed. It makes a world of difference. So moving into what is technically the bedroom, but this is going to be my office. Okay, so when you technically first walk into the bedroom slash office, we have some bookshelves over here, these two boxes. We're not going to be able to put those together for at least a little bit, um, but one of those is going to be a bookshelf for my office books and all of my work-related things, and hopefully it'll go like right over here. We just put the legs back on this desk and then I've got that vanity that I'm technically, I'm using as an extension of my work desk just to give me extra room to like store things. And I really wanna get a printer. So once we get a printer, it'll hopefully go over there. But this is what I really wanna set up today in order to just get um, my workspace to at least a point where I could work a full day from right there. So that's gonna be right there. And then if we pivot, I'm setting up my YouTube and vanity setup right over here. So the goal would be to get like a little divider to put right down here where like that box is to divide like my office from the YouTube part of it. Um, so I got the vanity, I got my Alex drawers right there. All of these tubs are um, basically clothes bins. I'm doing a bunch of laundry today. So I want to start trying to organize how we're actually gonna store our clothing. Um, and then this little desk is technically Alvin's workbench, but he's trying to get me to take it and use it for work too, but I don't know if it's gonna fit in here. So that's kind of where we are right now with like the furniture. And this is gonna be a temporary setup because I really wanted to get another set of Alex drawers and just put the tabletop on top of the Alex drawers. But uh, Ikea, because of COVID, is sold out of a lot of stuff, so they don't have that in yet. And so we just have to wait until we can actually buy that. Alrighty, and then from there if we pivot we actually have a lot of closet space which is really nice so i already took i had um the garbage bags with my clothes in them that's actually the best moving hack i found instead of taking all your clothes off the hangers and like having to redo it all when you get here just keep them on the hanger and then put them into a trash bag and keep them on the hanger because all i had to do was bring them into this new space and like basically everything was already hung up so I'm happy to have like most of my clothes there, finally. Um, but I'm gonna try and organize the closet at least a little bit too. So it's at kind of out of at least here. So like these kind of containers, I picture going like on top of the closet up there. So that's just kind of what I'm thinking right now. So, but the real goal is really gonna be to get that corner of the room set up and ready for working. All right, but first things first, let's get this bed made. So that looks so much better. The bed is nice and made, except somebody didn't want to get off the bed when I was making it. <coughs> ah, don't talk back to me. Oh. <coughs> Excuse you. Excuse you. <coughs> All right, fine. 
now that the bed is done, I am going to, bleh. I'm gonna try and tackle this corner because it's really gonna be the quickest, I think, just to kind of clear, like open up the space. Because I'm like trying to crawl through and do different things. And so it's just a little bit messy. So I'm gonna first move all these boxes, move that bookshelf back into the office. And then I think we're gonna move the toolbox to where the bookshelf was. So one more time. Uh, there we go. This is just already so much better. I, I really like Rex's bed being just like right there in the corner. I think it looks really cute. And then all of this is just temporary until we can actually put it away. I think a lot of that is going to go into the toolbox. Um, and then of course, this isn't going to stay here. We are actually <laughs> getting a kitchen table whenever Ikea has it back in stock. And <laughs> I want to warn you guys, the kitchen is a mess because there is um, pros and cons. The pro is that the kitchen is actually a lot bigger than we had originally saw. <laughs> um, so here it is. So this breakfast nook corner is eventually where our dining room table is going to go with our nice little chairs and everything. Um, but until we get it, this is where all the boxes and all the recycling and all the trash is right now. So my next project um, is going to be just to start breaking down the boxes and bagging up all of the recyclables and the trash. Um, the good news is that Alvin, because he works at the grocery store, they have a dumpster and they have a recycling bin for cardboard. So he's slowly just going to start bringing the cardboard boxes with him to work every day until we clean this out. And then once this is all cleaned out, those um, chairs and that table is going to go in here. But my goal for now is just to get everything bagged, get the cardboard boxes broken down and into one pile. And then as you can see, Rex's food is just kind of right here. I want to put it up against the wall in this corner right here. I think it's going to be good. So this is our next project. Oh, man, so it took me a little bit, but we finally got basically the boxes consolidated. We've got Rex's food and water bowl right there. And I've got a couple of bags of trash and recyclables just here in the living room. But I'm so much happy with this. And please ignore the dirty floors. We still haven't gotten like my Swiffer or the vacuum yet. So it's just going to be messy until we get like the boxes out. Oh, hi, Chunky. So like I mentioned, we've got like two. We've got another box there. We've got two trash bags there. And then we have one trash bag over here. But it's already looking leagues, leagues and leagues and leagues better than it was. So I'm going to take a quick break, eat some lunch because it's around 11 o'clock before we tackle the office. Thank you.
All right, so I just got like basically the bare essentials of like my office space done and set up, which is fantastic. So theoretically, if I need to start working, probably not gonna work until Tuesday, but I've got everything set up except for the bookshelf. So these all be on the bookshelf, all the books that are on there. I'm actually really happy with the setup. I've got my monitor, I've got my laptop, my keyboard, my mouse, everything. I found this cute organization notepad at Target for a dollar. So of course I added it, um, but everything here Basically, this is good to go. So I could start working, you know, whatever I need to. And I actually am surprised. So uh, it's only 120, like 118. And I got everything done that I like 100% had to get done today. So, ooh, I'm on top of things. Though I am already tired. I should have probably paced myself a little bit more. Um, but I'm going to end this moving vlog here. Uh, we'll pick up in the next vlog for basically the reorganizing the makeup section, um, as well as just the the rest of the apartment as I slowly clean it up we slowly put together the furniture we've got bookshelves to put together hopefully we'll get the dining room table soon that would be nice um but yeah so I'm gonna spend the rest of today I am gonna try to get off my feet for a little bit relax edit this moving vlog and respond to comments because you guys have been so nice and supportive on my pen that palette 2020 finale and my 2021 introduction so I'm gonna try and catch up on all those comments today thank you guys so much for watching hope you're enjoying this moving vlog series and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.